When an avoidant tells you that they're not ready for a relationship, what they really mean is they're not ready for emotional intimacy. And as long as they're not working on themselves, they're never going to be ready. This is a person that was emotionally neglected as a child. Their parents, their caretakers, they did not nurture their emotional needs. So the avoidant grows up to feel unlovable. They also learn that the people you rely on for your emotional needs are going to reject you. They're going to abandon you. So this is a person that has every fear, every nerve in their body triggered with anxiety when emotional intimacy is building in a relationship. A healthy, loving partner is going to be growing emotional intimacy in a relationship with you. That's how it works. That's what healthy people do. Emotional intimacy naturally builds in a healthy relationship with a partner that is loving and emotionally available. This is precisely what triggers avoidant fears. This is why they run from loving partners. This is why they run for the hills when emotional intimacy starts to build. It frightens them to their core. Their entire nervous system is on fire with anxiety. But this is still a person that needs external validation. They have a very low self-esteem. They don't feel good about themselves. They need external validation to feel better about themselves in the moment. So they will jump to a new relationship. They will go into a new relationship to seek that external validation, to get that infatuation, that dopamine rush that they so crave. That dopamine will make the avoidant feel better about themselves and mask their low self-esteem, at least for a little bit. But when emotional intimacy grows in the new relationship, they will run away from and discard that partner too. Now, they can commit if their other partner is emotionally unavailable as well. When there's no threat of emotional intimacy, and this can be with another avoidant or a toxic partner, the avoidant will feel safer because they don't have to be vulnerable with this person. So they can stick around for a while under those circumstances. But they will run like crazy, like the house is on fire from an emotionally available partner that shows them a lot of love and affection. Because healthy relationship behaviors are precisely what causes the avoidant to feel fear to begin with. So it's not a reflection of you. It's not that you weren't good enough. This person felt like they weren't good enough for you and that it's inevitable that you were going to figure that out, that you were going to reject them and abandon them. That's why they fear emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy was likely growing in your relationship, so they ran away from it. But they ran to somebody else because that person's giving them that external validation. It has nothing to do with anything you did wrong. It has everything to do with what you did right because they felt they weren't good enough for you. And it's also a reflection of their insecurities because this is a person with such low self-esteem that they need to constantly get that attention to feel good about themselves. And that's only temporary and it's only a mask.